a little bit painkillers at the moment. Hello my beauties, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mary and I'm a natural hair lifestyle and beauty content creator from London. It is currently 11 p.m. on Friday the 19th of February, right? So I've just come off of the Clubhouse Room by Esther. You know her as Esther Grams on Instagram or Esther Live on YouTube. And Chloe Downs, but Freckle on Instagram. It's called The Business of Influencing. It's been going on for four weeks now and it has been amazing. Like, it's been so insightful, it's been so encouraging, so motivational. And I do suggest that if any of you want to go into this career of influencing or being a content creator then it's definitely a room you should check out i've almost finished my invites because i keep saying to people if you want to join let me know on instagram and you know i've got strangers numbers now the room has gingered me which is why i thought you know what it's 11 pm might as well start vlogging because i'm not doing anything i have some things that i bought over the course of the week that I am yet to open. They've literally just been stacked here. Look, all my stuff. But yeah, one of it is my new iPhone 11. So you guys will remember in my, I can't remember which vlog it is, but it will be linked, of course. Um, I told you guys that I was buying my mum a phone. I bought her a phone and I didn't want to buy myself a phone just yet. But now my phone is basically packing up on me. So I've had no choice but to buy a new phone. I didn't want to get an iPhone 12 because I'm the kind of person that buys my phones outright. And I just couldn't justify spending 1k plus on a phone. And I heard the difference between the 11 and the, tw the 12 wasn't that great. Um, so... I just figured, you know what, I'd, I'll spend £750 instead and get the iPhone 11. So yeah, I'm just going to unbox that and some of the other packages I also got during the week. It's the reason why I actually haven't opened this. It's because those who know me know, your girl cannot keep a phone for long. If it's not cracked screen, it's cracked case. If it's not cracked case, it's cracked screen. <laughs> Things just fall out of my hands. I'm so clumsy. So even though I've had this phone now for over four or five days now, um, I just didn't want to open it because I don't have a screen protector. But I have, I've ordered a screen protector and and the case from Case to Five. But it takes forever for their cases to come. I don't know where the... I think it's coming from the US. But it takes forever for the cases to come. But I just thought, let me just unbox the phone anyway. And that's why I'm sitting on the floor. Because even if it accidentally drops out of my hand, at least I'm closer to the ground, you know? I've got a green one. Looks like this. I'm sure there's so many iPhone 11 unboxes on YouTube. So I don't really need to go into it that deep. Is it just the phone though, for real? Like, there's no charger? Oh, this phone is huge. Okay, there's... Okay, so... This is what it looks like. All brand new. And inside, it just comes with... See me see trouble, I've already started. Yeah, it just comes with this. There's no headphones, nothing. The adapter for my Mac uses this usb charging port so that's fine moving on to the next box i ordered this from feel unique yesterday Ooh, feel unique um i'll link everything i bought down below in case you're interested but basically i just ordered two things my usual nars radiant longwear foundation because i'm running out and i wear new caledonia and I also bought the Kiehl's Ultra Facial Cleanser. 
and the reason I bought this is because I feel like I need a new facial cleanser. I saw um, a girl on YouTube review this one and say it was really good. I saw how it foamed and things like that. So I decided I would try it out. So I will definitely give you guys an update on what I think of this. Um, but if you've used it before, let me know in the comments how did you find it. And of course, it's linked if you want to try it <laughs> and be on the journey with me. And then this last big box. Things just fall out of my hands. I told you guys, things just fall out of my hands. How manage? How? How? I think I need new hands. So yeah, this last box is full of hair products. As you can see, I just did a whole super drug buy. And the annoying thing is, I wanted to start a new series on my channel. Unfortunately, it's not until after I bought the products that Superdrug now said some of the products are out of stock. So now I can't do the series, which is a bit annoying. But I'll still show you what I bought anyway. I bought this As I Am Hydration Elation. This product, when I started as a naturalista five years ago, almost five years ago, was so amazing. It was the first conditioner that I found really conditioned my hair really well i recommended it to people back then as well even before i started doing youtube and they always said you know what you said about this conditional is true it is intensive hydration hydration elation it does exactly what it said what the hydration you get out of this bomb so i decided to pick it up again because i just felt like some of these conditioners that i've tested they just don't have anything on this and then I was thinking oh is it that I don't remember what this actually was like so I thought I'll buy it and try it out again and then I got the As I Am Curl Clarity Shampoo again As I Am is a brand that I used when I first started out so I just wanted to try all their products again and see if I like it um I then went with their Restore and Repair black castor oil leave-in conditioner um i had actually bought their original leave-in conditioner because basically as i am have a different range have like a variety of ranges when it comes to product they've got like the normal natural as i am they've got restore and repair they've got a blue one i can't remember what the blue one is but um yeah i had bought this leave-in conditioner but super drug said it's one out i bought this jamaican black castor oil leave-in conditioner to try i also bought the shampoo Again, super drugs so that they run out, so I'm just gonna have to mix and match from the brand now. And then, obviously, you guys know I'm a cream of nature lover, so I had to top up. So, again, I got the aloe and black castor oil shampoo. I also bought the leave in conditioner, which is the anti breakage um, aloe and black castor oil reconstructs reconstructing leave-in conditioner looks like this and then i bought a different range of theirs this is the first range i tried and it was the pure honey cream of nature shampoo and their leave-in conditioner so i just wanted to try it again to see whether there was a difference between the two ingredients in their in their products but yeah um that's all from super drug i actually need to check whether that's all because i feel like i bought a lot more and it's just not here so i need to double check with my invoice <laughs> to make sure i haven't been overcharged or that things aren't missing this box has been sitting here since the beginning of the week though but yeah um the purpose behind my super drug haul has kind of been ruined though because half of the products i never got but we move at least i have shampoo and conditioner so um the series i wanted to do i'll probably have to do another time i've left links below to all of the items that i purchased even the iphone in case you're interested i'm about to just wash my face and then i'm just gonna snuggle up in bed probably watch something and last but not least in this unboxing we have some mac products I picked up three mac pencils chestnut night moth and cork and night moth is actually i've actually used it already so can't show you that and then i picked up two lipsticks you guys know i was talking about reds how i couldn't find reds that i liked and stuff i tried 
I decided to pick up the Russian Red again just to see if if I use it with Night Moth maybe it will work better for me and I picked up another of my fave which is Mocha and this is like is it a satin finish it's like a nudie pink um this is something I used back in the day when I first got into lipsticks it looks quite taup taup is, is the color taup taupey but um when you do put on your lips it's more of a, a nudie I don't know like a nudie kind of color so that's it for my unboxing so far I do have some more things coming because I bought some skin products um, from the body shop but that hasn't reached yet but depending on how long this vlog is I might show you if it comes in time and yeah so that's it for all the items I picked up so far today's plan is to create content so I'm gonna start with having my shower because your girl hasn't had a shower <laughs> and then I quickly want to just clean up the house a bit like change my sheets and then I'll start creating. Then the plan for the rest of the week is I have some emails I need to get back to. I have some contracts I need to sign. So I'll probably do that later on this evening or tomorrow. If you guys, I don't know, should I show you the behind the scenes of that? Well, contracts are kind of private, aren't they? I don't know. But um, yeah, maybe I'll show you. Get ready, find some food, do some cleaning, and then I'll be right back with you. Um, with the behind the scenes of some of the things I'm going to be editing and creating today. Yeah, I hope you're all well. I'll see you in a bit. Hello, my beautiful people. It is the next day, you guys. If I told you what happened yesterday, you know, like, usually when you work and then, um, your body's so used to working that when you now have your leave, you then fall ill. That was kind of my situation yesterday. So half of the things I wanted to do, I didn't get done. I just had to rest. So I'm glad I did. I'm still like not 100%. I'm a little bit painkillers at the moment. <laughs> Can't even lie. Um, but I have done some of the reels that I wanted to do today. So I'm happy about that. And... Um, I just wanted to come on and say hi really because I know I just I I just never came back to the camera yesterday. My body shop um my body shop order did come so I'm gonna show you guys what I got now and yeah I have another video to do a bit later so I'll probably put you down until then and show you the behind the scenes of it. But for now let's see what the body shop order consists of. Okay, so consists of so I bought one moringa because you know your girl loves moringa so I got one of those um this is a body wash tea tree body wash now the reason I bought this is because I'm suddenly developing body acne and I'm not impressed by it so I want to see if this works for it um if not there's some alternative products that I've seen some other influencers mentioned so I'm going to have a look into those but for now I just want to try this because when I had acne on my face a few years ago when I used the facial cleanser of this it really helped to clear the acne I used it with some other products as well but um I felt like it was a tea tree that really did the most work so I'm going to try this for my body and see if um it helps then next we have a mask this is I just got a tester of this because I used it a few years ago but I don't remember if it was any good so it is the body shop Himalayan charcoal mask it's very small my goodness it is very small but we'll see if I like it and then because obviously of lockdown I haven't been able to do my feet so I wanted to see if I can do if I can use this to scrub my foot back and the reason I chose this is because I used it years ago and it worked wonders. But I had it as um, a kit. So it came with several other things. It was like a gift set someone bought me. 
and I'm not sure whether it was worth using all the products in the gift set that helped my foot then or whether it was just this in particular so I said I'll try this the gift set unfortunately wasn't um, on the site so I couldn't buy it but hopefully this will just be enough anyway so I'll probably do a video on that for you guys and then the final product that I got is um, this tea tree oil and this is specifically for my face again my face isn't as clear as I would love it to be um, I keep getting I know it's hormonal spots but because I'm a picker I can't help it guys like I just really anytime I see a spot on my body or my face wherever it is I just end up picking um, so I'm giving myself a lot of scarring and things so I feel like if I just put an oil on top whenever the spot develops it will stop me from picking um, I feel like it's more of a psychological thing for me like as long as I know something's on the spot then I won't touch it if, if that makes sense so I'm hoping that this tea tree oil um, will penetrate into my pores and will also help with my spots and this says it is super suitable for blemished skin so um, I'm hoping that it will also help me with my hyperpigmentation well in the areas where I've picked in particular so that's my body shop unboxing for you guys I'm about to I think I need to take a nap because the medicine I took kind of makes me feel really ill like I feel kind of nauseous at the moment so I just want to rest a bit before I then go on to do my video a bit later on in the evening the sun's already going down I know by the time that I probably wake up from my nap I'm gonna have to use my ring light so I'll see how I'll show you the behind the scenes because usually this camera stays on the ring light as I'm videoing um, and if for any reason I just feel like I can't do the video today then you'll see me tomorrow hopefully I'll be feeling a lot better then oh yes by the way I have set up my new phone now um, as you can see it's still in its little wrapping but the quality of the camera I feel like I've been sleeping on myself guys like why didn't anyone tell me it's so good so be expecting a lot more reels and things from me um but yeah I'm literally still keeping it in the box because I do want the case um from case to fire to come before I start using well I really should have um steamed my bed sheets anyway before I start using the phone because I really just I don't want to drop it um I have been in contact with my insur insurer to see if I can add it to my policy but um this is this is one of the reels that I did earlier and I'm just about to edit it now as I'm as, as I rest I really feel like throwing up sorry too much information um but yeah um I just wanted to let you guys know that this has been set up just to give a rundown of what did happen yesterday I cooked I cleaned I changed my bed sheets and I flipped my mattress over you guys if you don't flip your mattress over please do it is recommended that you flip your mattress over at least once every six months and that's simply because of um it being good for your back and your posture and your body whatever so um I was saying to my friend Aj that I feel like I've broken my bed and it's simply because I've I had been sleeping on the same side for so long my mattress was almost like sinking but immediately I flipped it over yesterday I had such a better night's sleep um, and I felt like my mattress was a lot firmer so do flip your mattress over if you don't and if you haven't changed your sheets you better change your sheets as well <laughs> uh, <laughs> so yeah that's just my tip for you guys if you don't know about that already um, I'm just gonna I'm just going to edit some reels now and just woo, find something to make this nausea go away because that painkiller is now affecting my stomach and yeah, I, we cannot be having this. Probably see you later, but if not, see you tomorrow.
Fairy Tale. You guys i'm back it's been about maybe 12 hours since i last recorded anything my energy levels are so whack i'm trying to figure out why i'm so tired and i can't figure it out i just had to after i cleaned and then i ate i had to lie down and i was literally in bed for a good five six hours and then i decided to get up to do something to my hair because i wanted to record a makeup video and then what happened was when I was doing my hair, my friend called, so I ended up being on the phone. And then that just took it out of me. Then I started my makeup probably around 11. So I just did this just to like practice because I wanted to test out the lighting and things. And yeah, I don't know. I don't, I don't think, I recorded it, but I don't think I'm going to put it out. I think I'm just going to re-record tomorrow in daylight rather than artificial light because i don't know if i'm really feeling this makeup i don't know if it's the lashes i don't know if it's the highlight that's looking a bit much i just i'm not really sure about it so i don't want to put it out there i need to clean my room tomorrow now and i'm hoping that by the time i finish doing that i don't feel tired because just doing the laundry um cleaning the bathroom what else did i do today that like took it out of me, seriously. It really took it out of me and I just feel like I'm wasting my days because why am I so tired? But I'm also at the same time trying not to force myself to do things if I'm tired. Like let me just rest. But I feel like I'm resting and I'm still not recuperating. I'm still not getting energised. So I don't know, maybe I'm going to have to get my blood checked out or something because maybe my iron levels are low or something, I don't know. But um, yeah, so that is really all that happened today. Let me wash this face off now because I am going to bed. It is, what is the time? I was still early. It's 11.53. So it's still quite early. Well, to me it's early. This is a concern of mine. Like once we are allowed back to normal, are they expecting that we're just going to be able to just go straight into work just like that because... A lot of people are gonna find it hard they're gonna be tired they're gonna be even just commuting to work is exhausting do you know what i mean so imagine actually coming from a routine or a place where you've just your body's been so relaxed hasn't been using up a lot of energy and then suddenly they're expecting you back into the office five days a week for seven eight hours i feel like a lot of people are gonna feel it so I'm hoping that is more of an easing into going back into work because I can't imagine just me waking up and cleaning the bathroom and doing a few bits here and there had me so wiped out. I can't imagine waking up, commuting, getting into the office, doing a full day and then having to commute back home. I feel like I'll crash. Um, but yeah. Boris has announced um, lockdown rules that hopefully do do happen. So I'm I'm seeing everyone on socials so happy about it. I'm I'm still quite skeptical, but um, we'll see how it goes. I don't want to be like a Debbie Downer, but I'd rather be like quite skeptical and be disappointed than to be like really optimistic and be disappointed. Does that make sense? Because I feel like the first these three lockdowns it's been like oh yes the end is in sight kind of thing almost like oh don't worry you'll be out by so and so time and then they just kept extending the lockdown by weeks by weeks by weeks and yeah so i don't want to be too optimistic and then have my hopes just crash down i'm just i'm just watching this space um apologies i'm a bit mia I told you even in lockdown there's nothing much i can film literally like it's so what are you gonna do? Watch me eating, watch me watching TV, watch me lying down. Like, there's nothing really for me to film. So, anything that I do do, obviously, I'm gonna show snippets of, but I don't want it to be like a really long, boring vlog that you probably won't even watch all the way through because everyone knows how to clean. 
everyone knows how to cook. Everyone knows how to be bored in their own house during this period, so you know. But yeah, um, I'll see you tomorrow, guys. I'm out. Let me give you a close up of my hair, actually. This isn't actually the style that I wanted to do, but um, the twists, I actually want to unravel them and have like a puff. But yeah, anyway. Let me be out. It's 12 now. Let me be out. Let me, let me, let me get comfortable and get into bed. It's bedtime. <laughs> hey guys, it's Wednesday. And I've ordered in Chinese. I've been MIA the whole day because I've had a headache. I know what's going on with my body. But I just thought I would show you what I ordered. I was thinking of doing a mukbang, but I don't have anything to discuss. So, But here we have sweet and sour chicken. And then we have roast duck fried rice, extra spicy. That's why you can see all the red peppers in there. I love spicy food. Spicy food. So I told them to make it extra, extra spicy. So usually I can't see like the red peppers like this, but they listened to me today. I had a headache. I haven't had an appetite. And the only thing I was craving for was um, Chinese. So I just decided to order that. And I'm hoping that the extra spice will have me drinking loads of water because I don't know if I need to detox or, but I don't even eat badly. So I'm not sure what's going on with my um body at the moment, but I'm over it. And then last but not least, we have some roast duck spring rolls. Can you tell I like duck? Mmm. Have some. I think this is hoisin sauce for the spring rolls. But it's so tasty in itself. I don't think it needs this sauce, to be honest. It's so big. Mmm. Mmm. So this look is a look I did yesterday. But I didn't like the video, so I recreated it today. And hopefully the video comes out right. Because if not, I'm not recreating it. I just think the sauce makes it salty. It's so full of flavour. Packed with flavour. It's a bit oily though. So I'm watching Married Up First Sight Australia. Is anyone watching that? Come on, payload sacks. Mmm. You already know all about the water. So this film upgrades that they're advertising. I watched it today. It was going so good, but they messed up the end. I hate when filmmakers have you like watching a good a good series and then the end just ends up being a flop. I don't understand. Why did they do that? I invested time in this show or in this film only for you to destroy the end. I don't understand. As I'll say, Married at First Sight has my emotions going, man. There's some people on there that are. They don't really have nice char characteristics about them. After Nigerian food, Chinese food is my favourite. I absolutely love Chinese. I could eat Chinese five days in a row. But I don't order it as much anymore. Because there's rest at home. Finish eating my food and I'll get back to you guys. I'm about to retire to bed. <laughs> it's what? 11.30? Today's Married at First Sight dragged, it was too long, and I wasn't impressed, to be honest. Um, I always find that they always drag the the last ceremony. All this customs, customs, customs and stuff, like, Romeo actually 
emailed me to say, oh yeah, your your parcel has cleared customs. We actually unbox this properly. Can you guys see me? I've relocated. Hopefully you can see me. So, as I was saying, this is how it comes. I bought the tempered glass as well because, like I said, guys, phones don't last. If I show you the state of my old phone and my work phone, you would just think I'm some kid. So, I'm not going to embarrass myself by showing you that. So, inside this, um, there's some wipes. Quite a few, actually. Five? Yeah, five wipes. The tempered glass, it says it's military grade protection. And I got it discounted. I think it was like £11 something instead of the usual £15. And then, obviously, the case itself is in here. I didn't get anything special. I just got the fragile case that I... You've, prob you've probably seen a lot of people carrying and this package actually came from Hong Kong I was thinking it, it I was thinking the company was from um, America but they're actually based in Hong Kong so this this is the case it's the fragile one and I got mine in like an army green color that was my Mac just shutting itself down for no reason. Yeah, so this is what it looks like. So now I can finally take the covering off my phone. Because I haven't done that yet. So yeah, another, just like a nice welcome kind of card. And there's another card here as well. Just telling you that case defy protects you and your gadgets kind of thing so yeah that is it I like it it's not flimsy feels quite sturdy and um, I haven't dropped my phone yet thank God so the case came just in time when did I order it well last week has it been a week I can't remember if it's been a week I'm now I'm in my bedroom obviously I'm back in my bedroom I'm about to take off this makeup and have a shower and listen to my favourite album of the moment which is Chike's Boo of the Booless. Like every song on that album bangs and I've been rinsing it out for the last three days. I, I took some paracetamol but I still have a stomach ache and, and a headache so I'm not sure. It can't even be a bug. You know one of those ones where you sometimes you think like, oh, it must be a bug. Because I haven't been out, so I'm just, I don't understand where I would have caught a bug from. But it does feel like one of those, like, bugs, something that's going around. I'm just going to keep drinking water and probably watch a film and go sleep early. Tomorrow I'm washing my hair, so I'll probably show you that. But because I am recording for a company, I don't know how much I will be able to show you. It, I just wanted to say like how's everyone feeling about this june 21st thing i feel like everyone's talking about june 21st june 21st on social media as if the c word is just gonna vanish on that day i'm a bit perplexed like why is everyone suddenly acting like say we're gonna be mingling the same way we were before like people are acting like the world is literally just gonna go back to normal in the blink of an eye i don't know but yeah people are going wild the memes are crazy as for me, I'm trying to just... Anyway, I don't want to be in a country, so I'm not I'm not here for any motive or anything like that. I'm, I'm here to fly out. So, as soon as the borders are open, as soon as it's okay for us to go, I'm gone. I'm gone. Leave your comments below. Let me know if you're in London, if you're in the UK, you've been on lockdown for over a year now. Let me know um, how you're feeling about this whole plan of you know basically getting back to normal come june 21st let me know how you feel all right i'm signing out for now because i'm sure after i've had my shower i'm not gonna want to pick up the camera again for anything so yeah ouch yeah